As business owners, as entrepreneurs, success requires that our business keep evolving, that we change direction when needed, we adapt and we make adjustments. And if you're a franchisor, you just franchise your business, you're new to franchising, you're an emerging franchisor, the one thing you need to avoid is becoming one of those zombie franchise brands. A brand that's not making adjustments, not adapting, and it's not achieving its franchise growth goals. Success is always about monitoring how the marketplace is reacting to our products, our services, how we're transforming lives of our customers and as franchisors of franchisees. And if you're new to franchising, you're an emerging franchisor, the one warning I have or the one thing we don't want to become is a zombie franchise brand. And, and what is that? Well, I see it often. There'll be new franchisors or maybe they've entered the franchise marketplace two, three years ago, but they're not achieving success. They're not growing. They're not adding qualified franchisees and they're finding it a difficult time to gain lift. Brokers may not be interested in the brand. They're spending too much on franchise sales marketing. They're attending conferences. They're getting ideas from all these different people, but they're not growing as a franchise brand. And what's worse is they're missing out on opportunity and they're not improving their franchise system. So what we're going to talk about is how to avoid becoming a zombie brand. And my advice is going to be four things. And they are to always be evaluating your brand positioning, to always be building renewable and reusable brand assets. Make sure you have a set strategy and budget and change direction when the market feedback is not in your favor. And we'll talk about these. So zombie franchise brands, they franchise their business. It's, and it's almost as if time has stopped their FDD, their item 19 structure, their franchise sales materials, the website copy, their uh, discovery materials, how they engage with brokers. It's never changed. It's the same thing. Whether they franchised three months ago or three years ago. And what happens next is they, they stay involved in the franchise world. Maybe you get some success here or there, but they're not making market progress. And what, what becomes even more unfortunate is some vendors, some suppliers will be only so happy to sell them another widget and another product, which is probably genuine and can help, but they're not ready for that. They need to do a deeper dive and really get to the heart of why they're not gaining traction as a franchise brand. So let's go through four recommendations I have or four checklist items for you so you can make sure either you're not a zombie brand or you don't fall into that direction. And, and really what it means to not be a zombie brand is to always be improving, always be evaluating how the marketplace is reacting to your franchise offering and adapt and improve and keep getting better. Because with franchising success doesn't happen right away. It's a five-year journey and we want to make sure we're going in a set direction. We're not just mindlessly wandering. We have a game plan. We're going to hit waypoints. We're going to make strategic investments. If our capital is limited, let's invest it in reusable assets. So as time goes on, as months pass, we just keep getting better. So first recommendation right now and always is to keep evaluating your brand positioning. And we talk about this often and evaluate your franchise opportunity profile. Where do you fit into the lifestyle of your franchise buyers? And once you evaluate that opportunity profile, own it, live it, and make sure you're being genuine to it. So if you're a supplemental income business, income replacement, legacy building, understand what that means to your prospective franchise buyers and how you're demonstrating your ability to help them get there. Does your item 19 align with your opportunity profile? Does your FDD, your territory structures, your fee structures, does that align with your opportunity profile? And does your franchise sales media and discovery process engage in a genuine conversation about what your franchisee candidates are looking for and the opportunity profile, the opportunity you're potentially offering them. And signs that you could be in the direction of a zombie brand. If your franchise sales material just talks about generic things like support and training and joining a great industry, you're missing out. And you could be in that mindless direction. And we could you know, need some adjustment. And when I say mindless, not disrespectfully, meaning like we don't want to become those zombie brands. 
a good sign to be looking for? Do you have your compelling founder story? And we talk about that so often. Uh, so first item, you need to always be evaluating your brand, owning your opportunity profile, and examine right now. Take a look at your franchise sales website. Take a look at your discovery materials. Think about the conversations you have with franchise brokers. Do you have a consistent message where you're talking about your opportunity profile? And do you genuinely demonstrate how you help franchisees achieve that? So that's the first recommendation. The next, number two, is are you building media that you're continuously updating and evolving that's telling your brand story? So again, your opportunity profile, and then how does that play into your franchise sales website, your franchise sales discovery process, broker communications? Are you consistently improving that media, right? We don't want to be stuck in the generic, right, that we see so often on so many websites. So we're a franchisor, you're going to be spending money and you're going to be investing, say, with some digital agencies or with some advisors or with some PR firms. Great. But when you spend that dollar, what are we getting? Are we telling stories, genuine stories, building out media that'll exist for all time? Meaning it's a third party validation piece that's evolving and telling a compelling story that's consistent with your opportunity profile, consistent with your brand, and consistent with the transformation you're offering franchisees. So as you spend your dollars, you know, I'll give an example, not to say it's bad, but if you spend money on performance-based marketing and you're spending money on pay-per-click ads, or you're spending money to attend a trade show, once those dollars are spent and once that event is over or that ad is over, it's gone. And if you didn't convert a franchisee from that, well, those dollars are gone and that's fine. And, and we have to make strategic investments there. But right now as a franchise brand, as an emerging brand, let's build up that media, right? Before spending money on outbound ads or trade shows, think about if you engage a prospective franchisee candidate, if you engage someone who's interested and qualified to join your franchise system, when they do research, what are they looking at on your website? What are they looking at on your social media channels? What articles are they going to read or what stories are they going to read that helps convey in a genuine way your opportunity profile, your transformation, and why they should be joining your brand? And if you're not building out that media, you're not ready to spend money on these advanced marketing strategies. And what happens, you get into a loop. You spend the money. Maybe you attract a, a, a good fit candidate, but you don't convert them because your media is not there and you're not building out those brand assets. So the second recommendation, always be evaluating the media that you're developing, always be improving it, and build renewable assets. So if you're spending money on third-party validation pieces, if you're spending money uh, with a videographer to tell your brand story, if you're developing charts and information that's focused on the uniques of your business, the transformation that you offer, all the things that go beyond the generic, we provide training, we provide support, here's how much you're gonna spend to open a location, those assets, that development of that media, the time you've spent, well, it becomes a renewable asset because it's an asset you take into the next year and we just keep getting better and stronger. Recommendation number three, you need to set a plan and a budget. So many emerging franchisors that could fall into a category of zombie brands, they don't have a set budget for franchise sales and franchise development, and they don't have a realistic goal of how many franchises that budget is going to produce, how many franchisees. And in fact, I would say out of the gate, when you're setting that budget, before we even talk about or think about franchisee conversions, let's evaluate how we're going to advance the brand, the media, the videography, the brand story, the franchise sales process, the discovery presentations. How much are we going to invest in those important assets? Or if we have generic versions of that, how can we make them better? And from there, where are we going to make strategic investments? Is it with broker networks? Is it with performance marketing? Should we be mining our, our organic reach of people that know your brand and how to put that plan together? If you don't have a plan and you don't have realistic goals, it doesn't matter how much capital you have or don't have or how small your budget is. If we're not setting that plan, then we're just mindlessly roaming. And I don't mean it in a bad way. I mean it in, sure, you're putting in good effort and we're trying, but like every good business, like myself, at, at times where we're not strategic about how we're growing and the initiatives we're implementing, we could fall into that zombie category if we're not careful. So recommendation three, you need to have a set.
plan and budget. And recommendation number four, every entrepreneur, every business, when we go in the wrong direction, when we make the wrong decision with a strategic partner, we have to accept our losses. So get, get away from the sunken cost of we've invested in the wrong infrastructure or we invest in the wrong media. And the worst thing we could do is stick with it. So if your FDD is off track, your item 19 is off track, your media is not producing results. We need to accept that loss and change direction, right? Um, and start building toward a successful model. It's critical, right? If we haven't gotten results, let's evaluate how the marketplace reacted to your investments and your inputs, and let's change direction. We can get there. Success is there. I know, I've seen, I've had conversations with so many amazing entrepreneurs and founders that know business, are super intelligent, and have done amazing things with their business. And then they enter the franchise world, and they sort of suspend their own judgment and rely on vendors or third parties, which is fine. You need good team members to succeed. But, but my advice is bring the discipline that made your business special, bring it to franchising because it's no different. Let's avoid becoming a zombie brand and let's gain real traction. Even if it's just one or two deals, build the media, build the renewable assets. Let's evaluate the opportunity profile. And over time, when you look at your franchise journey over a three, five year time horizon, you could create a very successful platform.